I want to give you an update on doing trailhead checks. Previously, we talked about the importance of doing your trailhead check in the parking lot so you can recover if somebody's batteries are dead or if they forget their transceiver or something. I want to talk now about an addition we're making to address electromagnetic interference issues. We're suggesting that you add a hands and wrists check to the process. So if somebody that's wearing heated gloves, a smartwatch, even an aura ring, or some other kind of electronic device on their hands or wrists, we need to make sure they know to take that off or turn that off during a search. This is also a good time to talk to the group to make sure that at least one person is carrying a first aid kit, a repair kit, and then at least one person has a satellite messenger on board. So here's a quick and dirty procedure for doing a trailhead check every time you go out with your friends. The key is to end in send to ensure that everybody's transmitting when they leave the trailhead. The first step is a battery check. Standing in a circle, everyone should power on their transceiver and read out their battery power percentage. Replace any batteries displaying less than 60% power. Next is the new electronics check. While everyone's beacons are out, make sure nobody is storing theirs within 20 centimeters of another electronic device. This isn't gonna really affect your signal, but it can cause your transceiver to use more power. Make sure each person knows whether or not they have noise sources on their hands and wrists. If so, either remove them or make sure they know how to turn them off during a search. This can happen at the same time you're doing your airbag and radio check. If there are airbags in your group, make sure the cylinder's full and connected, the trigger's exposed, and the engine's turned on if it's electronic. If you're using radios, make sure they're turned on and all on the same channel and privacy code. Next comes the search check. Everyone switches to search mode. At this point, there should be no signal being received. The leader then switches back to transmit mode to make sure everyone can receive his or her signal from a minimum of one meter. Finally, is the transmit or send check. End and send. Everyone but the leader goes back to transmit mode and stows their transceiver. The leader checks that they're sending either by moving around the circle or have them walk by at a minimum of about one meter distance. The leader then goes to transmit and stows his or her transceiver. Some transceivers have a group check function for this step, mainly to speed up the acquisition and release of each signal as each person goes by. In addition, we recommend doing a full range check if you're traveling with an unfamiliar group, if you have new transceivers in your group of friends, or if you're doing a multi-day trip. We'll talk about that in an upcoming segment.